Hello all. A little windy. Yesterday we had lots of rain all day. The most rain we've had in California this year. Whether it will break the drought or not, I doubt it. It was only about a half an inch, but it looked good. Here I come from the west side. Drives me insane. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie to me. In the environmental movement, Biden is being urged to block a massive petrochemical complex. Location, Louisiana, Cancer Alley. This plant will produce 13.6 million tons of emissions per year. There are more than 150 petrochemical facilities in 85 mile long stretch of this area. Of course, these are communities of people of color. That's why they stick the uh, these petrochemical plants wherever there's people that aren't white. Don't fry, don't fry, don't fry. Unfortunately, this international company has been known to pollute international waters, such as pouring cyanide directly into the South China Sea. Unfortunately, it's getting kind of busy, so I'm having trouble finding a place to talk. This company is a Taiwan-based company, Formesa Plastics. And what is it that they're so interested in making? <laughs> of course, little tiny pieces of plastic. Now, let's say that Biden is lucky enough to stop this petrochemical plant from going in. Wouldn't they just go somewhere else and still pollute the, the planet? But at least it wouldn't be here in the U.S. Environmental justice leaders, this project must be terminated no matter where on the planet they want to build it. And in the Beaver Valley of Tennessee, there's a cracker plant going to be built, which will produce and make plastic particles as well. That's all we need is little trucks and truck loads of plastic particles every year being discharged on the planet Earth. But that's the way it is. Are we going to do something about it? Are we going to urge Biden not to okay this plant? Of course, because it has to do with jobs, he might do it anyway. Because the almighty dollar outweighs whether the planet is saved from these petrochemical plants or not. Well, it's beginning to be very nice out. We're supposed to be in the 70s next week. So summer will return to California. I definitely do appreciate any help on this project. Any ups, downs, new subscribers, and any information you can put on. And until next time.